Welcome back to our series of training courses on the Timinos Transact Core Banking System. In the previous courses, we have learned about account on T24. Now I will introduce you to the next basic content, which is funds transfer. Why funds transfer matters. From the first stage of the T24 Core Banking System being introduced and launched, along with customer and account, fund transfer is one of the important components and is always present even in the most minimal core banking package meeting the needs of both banks or other financial institutions. Imagine a bustling marketplace where goods change hands, currencies shift, and promises are fulfilled. In the digital realm, funds transfer serves as the lifeblood of financial ecosystems. Whether you're sending money to a family member, paying bills, or settling business transactions, the ability to transfer funds swiftly and accurately is paramount. Now let's proceed with today's agenda. Our agenda for today is, the first topic is overview, general introduction to transactions and principles of debit and credit balancing in transactions, some types of related accounting accounts in common transactions. The second topic is funds transfer application, introduce important transaction accounting applications on core banking T24. In this section, you will grasp the most basic way to account for money transfer transactions. The third topic is transaction types. Just as there are different flavors of ice cream, there are various transaction types. T24 uses this concept to classify different transaction scenarios. Each type represents a specific kind of financial dance, complete with its unique characteristics. The fourth topic is transaction fees. The direct source of profit from providing money transfer services, bill payments, is from service fees. So transaction fee is an indispensable part of the funds transfer module. The fifth topic is accounting entries. Behind every transaction lies a symphony of debits and credits. We'll peek into the ledger and understand the financial choreography. In this topic, we will learn together how to query to accurately identify accounting entries of a transaction in general, as well as funds transfer transactions in particular. The sixth topic is backdate and forward accounting. In some special situations, banks need to perform accounting transactions that are effective on a past or future date, and this will be described in this topic. And the last topic is preventing duplications, duplicate transactions. No thanks, because this will be a big pain point for customers and banks. We will explore strategies to keep our financial records clean and accurate. A financial transaction refers to an agreement, communication, or movement of assets between two or more parties that results in the exchange of value. These transactions can encompass a wide range of activities. Debits and credits. Like Yin and Yang, debits and credits maintain balance. According to accounting principles, in a financial transaction, the total debit amount and the total credit amount are always equal in value. These debit and credit accounting entries will correspond to the debit and credit accounts in the transaction, in addition to some other types of accounts that may be transparent to customers and bank users, such as inter-branch accounts, tax accounts, profit and loss for fee account, etc. In fact, this is not a content specifically for transactions on core banking T24, but is an accounting principle that applies to all financial transactions. I just want to remind you a little bit so that you can remember the accounting foundation before going into more detail in the following content. To transfer money between two accounts, there are a number of different solutions and supporting applications. But the most popular, simplest, and most effective is always the funds transfer application. And in this topic, we will learn about the funds transfer application on the T24 core banking system. Let's dive into the key points related to the T24 Transact Funds Transfer Module. Funds Transfer Table funds.transfer. This table stores transaction data in T24. Access to data is restricted based on user permissions at each branch. Users can only access transaction data for the branches they are authorized to view. Minimum required fields for creating a funds transfer transaction. Transaction.type classifies the transaction and defines specific characteristics based on configuration settings. Debit account in O, the account number from which funds are debited. Credit account in O, the account number where funds are credited. Debit currency, currency for the debit amount. Debit amount or credit amount. Only one of these fields should be filled, 
depending on the transaction scenario. Other important information. Debit value date. Effective day for debiting the transaction, default equals today. Credit value date. Effective date for crediting the transaction, default equals today. Processing date. Transaction processing date, default equals today. Payment details. Description content for the transaction. Let's practice together to understand how to create a basic money transfer transaction between two accounts on the funds transfer module. Practice scenario one, creating a basic funds transfer transaction. Transaction type is AC account to account transfer. Debit account no is 100,099. Debit currency is USD. Debit amount is $100. Credit account no is ACX. Payment details is transfer to account ACX. Practice scenario two, checking transaction results. Review transaction details in the funds transfer table. Verify information for the debited account. Verify information for the credited account. Query detailed accounting entries for both accounts to understand how the created transaction is reflected. The first step is to launch funds transfer application from T24 browser command line. Then allocate new funds transfer transaction ID by clicking to new deal button. On the input screen, enter essential transaction details such as transaction type is AC for account to account transfer type. Debit account number with value is 10,009. Credit currency is USD. Debit amount is 1,000. Credit account number from a mnemonic. The last one is payment detail. The last one is payment detail for the description of this transaction. The funds transfer application includes several fields designed for various purposes, but the information provided is sufficient for basic transactions between two accounts. After entering the transaction information, we will perform validation checks to ensure there are no issues. Then submit to complete the transaction. As you can see on the screen, only one funds transfer transaction is created, but many records are updated to many tables in the system. We review the transaction information to ensure that the transaction has been successfully executed. View the debit account and credit account to see last credit and debit transaction amount for each account. Finally, we should compile a list of accounting entries for the debit account to observe how previous transactions are reflected in the account statement. The account statement for credit account is the same with debit account. 